Hi everyone, and welcome to the World Minnesota Guy channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about drill presses. Now there's a few different type of drill presses on the market. Uh, we've got the eight, 10, and 12 inch, which are bench top drill presses. Then when we get beyond 12, we get the 16, 17, 20, and plus, then we're talking the big giant stand ones that actually need a lot of room for. Now I didn't have the room for one of those, that's why I went with this 12 inch. This happens to be a WEN, which we'll go through. We'll go over to the website. Uh, we'll talk about the different types of drill press. Then we'll actually demonstrate that. Now, before I bought this, I had one of these, right? A corded drill that went into a device that pressed down on this. Yeah, that went in the trash. I'll show you that too on the website. All right, guys, uh, let's get to it. So here it is here. It's actually a pretty big drill press for a bench top. Of course, 12 inch is the biggest you can go for a bench top. All right, so we're gonna do measurements on this. So this is actually 37 inches high. Now we're gonna measure from here right to the back. Let's write that switch, we got uh, 20 inches. Now the width of this, if you put the handle, let's say you're probably about, let's say about 10 inches with this other thing sticking out on the side here. All right, let's go over to the side of this. All right, here we are on this side. You're gonna see my camera angle jump around box. It's actually a pretty big drill press uh, for a bench shop. So my camera's gonna swing around with this so we can get all parts of it because I can't get it all uh, in one shot, all right? So this, it's 5.8 amp, uh, 12 inch, which will explain how they do that 12 inch. Uh, it goes up to 580 to 3200 RPM, which I'll demonstrate. That's the main reason why I bought this is the variable speed. Because if you ever work on these, uh, worked on the older ones, we actually have to take this off and change the belt to actually get your different speeds. It's like that for, for many, many years. Then these variable speed ones started coming up. So how you determine the size of it, this is a 12 inch, and how that is measured, is that we got, you know, from the back, right to the dead center of that, that's six inches. That means I can put a 12 inch board on, stock board on here and work with that. So that's how you have to determine if you're looking at uh, drill presses, is what size, how big a boards me working with. You know, like I said, we got the, we got the eight, 10 and 12 inch in these bench top uh, drill presses, okay? Let's swing over to the other side. All right, here we're on the other side of this. This is a variable speed adjustment that you turn, which we'll demonstrate. And I got the lights uh, off in the back, so you can actually see the LED readout and the laser, which we're going to uh, demonstrate. So you got two switches in front. One's for a laser, and one's for the LED light. Now what was nice about the light, is it's just a standard bulb. And unscrew is really easy. So if it burns out or you want something a little brighter in there, you can put it in there. This is a stock bulb that came with it. You don't see a lot of tools that have where you can change. A lot of them are built in. And another nice feature about this is a laser, which is here. Let's switch for that. So you can get dead center. Help your alignment. LED light on off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna slowly crank the RPM up with that lever I showed you on the sides. Okay, so we're at 620 and we're gonna slowly increase it. So max on this is uh, 3,200 RPM is what the specs say. Okay, that's full blast. I never run it that high. I usually run it around 1,200. This is all the stuff I'm doing with wood. So we'll bring it back down. 
I'll leave it there. All right, uh, let's jump over to the website and we'll take a look at it and I'll show you the other drill presses. So there is the first drill press I had, not that one, but I had one that was similar where I talked about in the beginning of the video where you put your quarter of drill, mount your quarter of drill in here. I had it for several years, it was okay. But now that went into the garbage when I got this big one. Now let's jump over and we're gonna look at that uh, when drill press on the Amazon website. And here it is here, and you see I purchased it in 2022. And the reason why I'm talking about this today, because that's a pretty good price on that, $217. Uh, when I paid, when I got it, I paid $299. So that's a pretty good price. Now, the other one that's comparable to this is the Bauer version. Now, when I bought this, the Bauer version wasn't available. The Bauer version actually just came out recently. I'm going to go over to Harbor Freight website. I'm going to show you that. All right, so there's that Bauer. Uh, they're pretty much a, almost identical in all the specs. The only thing different, uh, this Bauer's a 6.2 amp, and the Wen is a 5 amp. Otherwise, they're pretty much identical. Uh, as far as quality, uh, Wen and Bauer are equal. In, you know, as far as my opinion is, um, that's why we're looking at this. The price point is the same on them. So that may come down. Um, I don't know. Right now, the Wen is a better price on it if you're looking at getting this. Uh, type of drill press. Now I'm going to show you a different type of drill presses that there are. And again, we're going to go over to the Harbor Freight website. So if you look here, now there's our 10 inch and there are 8 and 10. Of course, a 10 inch is on, on sale right now. As you see, is it, the bigger you get up in that, the more the price get, gets. And then you get up into, there's the 12 inch one, then you get it past 12 inch, you get these big ones. Now when I was looking at uh, that when, uh, Harbor Freight had a 17 inch for $299 at the time. And I came close to getting that. By, and the central machinery line, it's kind of iffy. I saw a review, and I only have one Harbor Freight out here for 100 miles. I mean, I, I can't just easily go, go to another store. So I was comparing it. I saw one guy do a review, and it said that he was missing parts, and he had to take, went to three different stores to find the right parts to get one totally complete, which that was a big turnoff for me. And it was big. I really didn't have the room for that big of a unit in here. So that's why another reason why I went into that rem. There's one more thing I want to show you, and that is a drill press table. And here it is here. This happens to be when, which is on my list. I don't have this one yet, but this gives allows you to have that fence in the back there. Uh, to cut things like, for me, it would be dulling wood together, right? Where I'd need that square fence to have that perfectly lined, drilled down into that wood. When I get that, uh, we'll demonstrate that as well. All right, let's uh, do a demonstration on that drill press. All right. So we're going to use uh, a Hercules spade bit. I just bought this set, and I got a review on it, too, if you want to check it out. Use a three eighths. Okay. Key chuck. Make sure that's in there tight. And we're just going to have a board that we're going to cut through. Now, the biggest thing is adjust this. It looks like our table needs to be go up a little bit and back. There's a lock and a crank. We're going to unlock that. I'm going to crank her up, check my death again, all right, I'm going to lock that in place, and these are our two drill press clamps that don't come with it, these are Harbor Freight Pittsburgh clamps that I highly reckon you get you get a drill press. So we're going to clamp it down in two locations. Yeah, they got a screw thing on the bottom. They're really easy to adjust and move around. Okay. I'm going to turn it on.
All right, pretty simple. Hey guys, let's finish up the review. And there, that's a simple demonstration of what drill presses can do. Now, if you're interested in one, look at what size you need. Uh, the Wen and Bauer on the 12 inch are a really good price point on those. Of course, you don't need those that big. Look at the eight and 10 inch versions, or maybe if you have a lot of room, maybe you wanna look at a big giant one. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.